All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Tuesday, September 24th, set today by Picaroon. I think he's usually fairly uh, straightforward, plays by the rules. Let's see. Uh, I may have jinxed that. All right, one across. Flavor Enhancer that's stored in Tabernacle. Is it a double definition? Maybe something that would be stored in the tabernacle? Well, at a stretch, but it is some kind of flavor. Flavor enhancer definitely seems to be the definition. Uh, let's see, we're looking at 14 letters. Tabernacle is 10. No, we don't have enough. Uh, but I don't think stored with it would have been an anagram indicator anyway. Ah, I can't think of what you would store in a tabernacle. No, let's try the downs. People who sing gospel, it soon rocks. Well, rocks can be an anagram indicator. And we need 12 letters. Gospel, it soon. Uh, and I think people who sing, it's not going to be vocalists, it's going to be people who rat on other people. And I think with the G and the P on the N, I think we have stool pigeons. Now I have the Kid Creole and the Coconut song stuck in my head. Uh, there's a commenter or a couple of them over at 15 Squared who post the earworm of the day. Wouldn't surprise me if that's going to show up. All right, so now our flavor enhancer. Yeah, um, season something salt, excuse me, salt of some kind. Say, oh, saline solution. A saline solution has the right number of letters. Oh, I think that's exactly, oh no, no, it's not Saline Solution, but I just realized that within Tabernacle, we have NaCl, which is sodium, oh my goodness, sodium, this is going to be embarrassing, but I think it's sodium chloride. Oh, that's very clever. If that is right, oh well, yeah, so again, like yesterday, we have a very friendly grid. Yeah, by getting the one across and one down, we have lots of starting letters, which really makes a big difference. Okay, quaff, which is another word for drink, drop of drambui, and chuck it down. Um, yeah, it might be another word for drink, down, um... Well, we have chuck it down. I think drop of drambui might be that initial D. And a word for chuck it down. Or maybe it's the other way around. But no, I think it's going to be this way. Quaff. No, don't get it. Winning big, about to cut bananas. Well, the first word must be up. I don't think us would work in this context. Winning big, you're up the, up the, oh, up the, tr I don't know. Um, I'm thinking it's only like up the tree where you might cut the bananas, but um, no, I don't know that expression. Winning big. No, gonna have to come back to that. They have imperfect eggs you reportedly put in boxes. That's, I think, just a cryptic. Oh no, actually, it might be. Oh, this is very clever. It's a reference to something I think was very well known. 40, 60 years ago. I'm not sure how many younger people will know this reference. 
But I did realize that you reportedly might simply be telling us to take the letter U and put it in a word for boxes. And the first word I thought of was crates. And if you do that, you get curates. And so there is the phrase where you say something is like the curate's egg, good in parts. And I think it refers to an old story where a curate is served a very bad boiled egg for his breakfast. But he's too polite to say that. He's asked, how is your egg? And he says, good in parts. Anyway, happy to get that one. Oh, and another couple of starters. Coffee cups. Debbie emptied. She might get rowdy. Oh, now I'm not sure about the chloride. Sodium. Soda, oh, I should know. NaCl. Yeah, let me pause and I, I feel I've made a terrible schoolboy error. No, it is sodium chloride commonly known as edible salt, sodium and chlorine ions. All right, so then I was really thinking Debbie emptied is telling us D-E. Uh, and so I was expecting a word beginning with D-E, but maybe it's, um, we need a word for coffee cups, then D-E, and she might get rowdy. Oh, there is the, the word ladette that has come up quite often in the cryptic, um, a female hooligan, a ladette. She might get rowdy. Uh, I'm going to put it in. Oh, I do see now we have latte. Oh, cups is very clever. It's a verb. So a type of coffee, in this case a latte, cups or goes around the emptied Debbie. I like that. Perhaps Winchester student gets in everywhere. So Winchester as an example, well of course there's the cathedral, so I presume that means it is a C a bishopric, if you prefer, perhaps Winchester, a student. Yeah, I think we're going to put a, maybe L could be a student, and that gets in a word for everywhere. What is everywhere? Beginning with R. No, uh, it has a clock dial, one fixed in vacant den. Well, I think vacant N might be like Debbie emptied, just the D and the N. We have the D. One fixed. Maybe the definition is it has a clock. Detonator often has a clock, I suppose, a timer. One fixed in vacant. Yeah, oh yeah, maybe uh, dial one is seven letters, and that might be put inside, anagrammed, the vacant. Yeah, so we're going to have another D. Dial one fixed inside vacant den. Um, well, let's try the anagram helper and see if anything jumps out. Oh, a dandelion. How exact? What exact? I do know the phrase dandelion clock. I uh, vaguely remember, maybe from some book I had as a child. Let me look that up. All right, apparently the spherical flower head is called a clock or a blowball. Ah, I wonder why it's called that. Anyway. Uh, let's go back to the uh, crosses. Choose, frames, painter, knocked over for 1960s works. 
Well, I can think of 1960s works, a uh, very popular op art. And so to choose is to opt, and that f goes around a painter. Well, a member of the Royal Academy is an artist. Uh, so whenever you see artist in a cryptic crossword, you should think RA. But here it's knocked over or reversed. Give a different view of Everton. Oh, they just came up yesterday. Everton's number one punching his rival penalty. Everton's number one, I think, is simply the letter E. Punching can mean going inside of, I think. His rival, well, of course, Everton's rival is Liverpool. Penalty. Yeah, I don't know if the definition is going to be penalty or give a different... I, I do like it being give a different view because I think uh, re... redesign or re... Uh, yeah, something like that. No, how about Clement Attlee, oddly, put away nine crackers? Okay, so I think we're going to have the odd letters. Is it just of Attlee or Clement Attlee? Oh, I think it's going to be just Attlee. A-T-E. Uh... And then we're going to anagram nine inside it, crackers, meaning mad version of nine, and it's going to mean clement, uh, lenient, I think. If you show clemency, you are lenient. Yeah, just one E in, is that right? We do need the A. A T E plus nine. Yeah, I think that's right. No, hold on, I'm going on. Yeah, I'm um I'm I'm confusing myself here. There's the nine L A T. Yeah, we have to get the L from Ah, uh, maybe it's Clemmer. I'm yeah. I'm uh, very confused. But I often get confused when I try to pick out the odd letters when it's not a monotype font. But surely that's A T E. Oh no, I think it's oddly put away, leaving the evens. Ah, T L E. Ah, so it's lenient. There we go. Whew. Apologies for uh, making a hames of that, as we say in Ireland. All right, so now quaff, drain, I suppose. Oh, yes, I think if it's chucking down, it's raining. I think that's how that works. Up the something again. I'm not sure about that. All right. Maybe may... Queen returned small, boring articles. Well, I think articles might be the definite article, the. Um, I'm not sure. Queen might be ER, the late Queen Elizabeth, and that returned might be RE. I'm thinking maybe May must be the definition. May, oh, Teresa, of course, would be a famous May. Uh, Queen is ER. I think, oh, no, it might be that ER. Returned small. Oh, yes, hold on. Ah, uh, yes, a Queen returned... No, I'm, I'm, I don't know why, I'm just having trouble understanding these. But I think it, the articles, I thought it was going to be the plural, the S, but it's the and A. 
Oh yeah, ER is returned there to give RE. Goodness, goodness me. All right, uh, countries popular backing after a revolution. Well, if something is popular, it's in. So immediately thinking the country is India. Popular backing after a after a revolution. I think if you give someone your backing, you're giving them aid, and that goes has a revolution or is turned around. Not a hundred percent sure of that one. All right, nursing funny person strips back. Hospital bed. Ah, is it nursing, maybe, is the definition? Fun, who is a funny person? No, don't get that. All right, um, we'll move on. Brilliant, partner of blind, extremely unusual fellow. Uh, could it be eccentric? Would be an unusual fellow. But uh, it could also, the definition might be brilliant. What is the partner of blind? Something in blind or curtain in blind? Blind and deaf? No. Extremely unusual might be the U and the L. Fellow could be Don, or it could be the letter F. No, I don't see it. New books with leading detective. This may be qualified as noir. Well... New can be N. Ah, yeah, so I think that's this N. Books often refers to the books of the Bible, which can be the New Testament, NT, or the Old Testament, OT. And the detective is a private investigator leading. And so Pinot may be Pinot Noir. All right, a river over to the left. A river in the Americas. Yeah, a river might simply be A-R. O over, of course, can be O from cricket. To the left might simply be L. And then a river. Is it going to be an American river? Niagara? It has AR. I'm not sure. N I A G A. No. It's used to pass water. Arthur Ash finally ordered. Okay, so I think it's going to be, uh, yes, used to pass water. And uh, true to the Guardian style, we should think of that as passing urine. And so an anagram of Arthur plus the final letter of Ash would be the urethra. There we go. Poor Arthur Ash. What did he do to deserve being in this clue? All right. Sign Pinocchio's fibbing about current VIP. Well, of course, his nose grows. But uh, how would that fit in 3-5? About current VIP. Other than current often being I from the electrical notation. No. Uh, let's finish the crosses. Uh, touching some butter from the east. That's available. Touching some butter from the east. Well, from the east. 
suggests we read something backwards. That's available. I wonder if it's too let, for example, uh, an apartment that's available, too let. No, a uh, criminal case of infraction, 100 euros pinched. Ooh, 14 letters. Criminal can mean to anagram. But I wonder if it's maybe a long word for a criminal. The case of infraction could be the outer letters, I and N. And then 100 could be C. I think euros can be E. And then pinched. No, I need more for that. All right, not a great showing on the first pass. Uh, this was perhaps... Oh, there's a Winchester rifle. Ah, yes, and if something is everywhere, it is rife. And we do put L for learner in the middle of that. Ah, give a different view, I think, would be to redefine. Everton's number one. Oh, I think his rival might be a red. The Liverpool are the reds, right? And oh, a penalty is fine. So punching in between red and fine is E. All right. A poor U.S. singer way ahead of what Jay-Z did. Poor... Yeah, I don't know. What did Jay-Z do? Married Beyonce. Um, produced, rapped. What Jay-Z? Oh, I wonder if way could be a street of some kind way ahead of. Yeah, I think the definition might be poor. And maybe we put in a U.S. singer. Ah, yes, uh, the U.S. singer would be Johnny Cash. Uh, there was the joke told in Ireland back in the 70s. I'm sure it was told in many parts of the world about how America has... Johnny Cash, Bob Hope, and Stevie Wonder. And Ireland had no cash, no hope. And I think then you insert the name of the current Taoiseach and no wonder. Anyway, that's cash. The, the way is the street. And Jay-Z did rap. So cash strapped. All right. Nursing. Funny person. Strips back. A hospital could be H. So maybe that's the final H. And the whole thing is going to be bed. Oh, I do wonder if it's bed as a verb. And it's sleep with. Um, nursing funny person strips oh i think the funny person is a wit yeah so i think nursing means going around this wit we're going to have a word for strips backwards which is peels and hospital and then when you do that you get your bed all right uh after a reshuffle, failed to note cause of unemployment. After a reshuffle would seem to be a pretty obvious anagram indicator. I think it's going to be 
anagram of failed to, which is eight letters plus a note, which could be any from A through G. R could also be N, of course, yeah, and I'm thinking deflation could be a cause of unemployment. Picaroon, so okay, he's referring to himself, so I or me, gets shower working at first, which is perhaps topping. Oh, I wonder if it could be a, to oh, a topping of a pizza, I think is going to be pepperoni. Let's see how this works. Oh, I think if you shower somebody with, say, questions, you pepper them. If a machine is working, it is on. And then we have the eye for Picaroon because the others came first. All right. So now we're touching some butter from the east that's available. No, I don't get that at all. Ducking and running under one bar swung around. One bar might be I-B-A-R, swung around R-A-B-I, with running under that. I do think ducking has some other meaning, not just ducking your head. I think it... Uh, but I'm not... It's not coming to me. Let me pause and look that up. No, I'm not seeing any other meanings for ducking. I must be thinking of something else. All right, kind of cross, hosting unmannerly PM. Oh, I do think it's going to be kind of cross, maybe. Although hosting, yeah, unmannerly might be rude. Oh, I think it might be uh, Justin Trudeau, or his father, I suppose. Uh, so there's rude, ah, yeah, the cross is tau, T-A-U. Uh, don't ask me exactly what that is for. From, but that is a cross. Is it the Greek letter tau is in the shape of a cross? All right, tomorrow, singer from 13, which was India, must be introduced to Queen. I wonder if it means tomorrow. But I don't know what a five letter word for tomorrow would be. All right, where to keep bucks, perhaps, for a U.S. detective? Uh, so I don't know if it's going to be bucks as in dollars. I'm thinking it's going to be bucks as in deer. Or it could it be bucking broncos for a U.S.? Is it the name of a famous fictional detective? Or a uh, generic term. Um, oh, I'm sure I know the word, but it's not coming to me. All right, we've looked at everything once, and uh, still an awful lot of gaps, particularly on the bottom half. We do have N, U, and D, so maybe, maybe we anagram hundred. That's seven letters, and then euros would be five plus the case. Yeah, let's try the anagram helper. Case of infraction plus hundred, whoops, uh, euros. All right. And it would mean pinched though, so it's probably probably gonna end in E D. Do we have something about nourished or um 
Yeah, we have another U. So I think it might be UN. Oh, in fact, I think it might be under. Uh, I think it might be undernourished. Not a word I know, but it fits in nicely. And I think those are the right letters. All right, who is our U.S. detective? Where to keep bucks? No, not getting it. All right, oh, this might be uh, Niagara. Of course, I, I really only know the falls, but I'm presuming the river is the Niagara as well. I river over to the left. A river in the Americas. I don't get that at all. Now, br either brilliant or extremely unusual fellow. I think brilliant. Not effervescent. Uh... Oh, of course, the partner of blind is to F. So if you just want to say somebody was cursing, you might say he was effing and blinding. Um, so that's that. Yeah, so I think it does mean brilliant, extremely unusual, then would be UL. Oh, I think there is a word, effulgent. Uh, so I presume that means brilliant. Let me look that up. Yes, it means shining brightly, or it can also mean beautiful, effulgent. All right. Now my ducking begins with an E, under one bar, swung round. Oh, ducking could be evasion, I'm thinking. Under one. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So if some, just like the machine was working, it was on. If your fridge is running, it is on. And that goes under one. And bar is a word that can mean accept or save. Save for that example. And that is all swung around. Well, the, uh, the one bar, one save is swung around. All right, beginning to, uh, I think, get some momentum. This was our tomorrow. Is there some Shakespearean word for tomorrow? Singer from 13 must be introduced to Queen. Singer from India. Is there a famous singer or type of singer from India? No, and I'm... Could this mean touching? I wonder. Some butter from the east that's available. No, and what's my U.S. detective... Hitch, hooch, and you would swear you'd, <laughs> excuse me, keep your bucks. No, oh, and here's our uh, sign, Pinocchio's fibbing about current VIP. <laughs> Sir, mix a lot, Sir, something. No. All right, we've only won up at the top, so let's... Um, winning big. Surely up the... Up the... Up the ball, about to cut. Ah, bananas, of course, could be an anagram. Yeah, but... um. 
not going to be an anagram of about to cut, I think. Winning big. I mean, could it mean bananas going crazy? Up the... Oh, up the wall, if so. Yeah, I think if you're going bananas, you're going up the wall. Now, how is that winning big about to cut? I don't get that, so we'll have to look at 15 squared for that one. Yeah, but I'm fairly confident in it. All right, so just the bottom sign. Pinocchio's fibbing has to be something with his nose. Oh, it does go about current, which I said might be I. Oh, I, yes. Um, I suppose instead of a long nose, a big nose, and that goes about the I. A VIP would be a big noise, all right. Tomorrow. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a poetic word for tomorrow, unless it's a queen. Queen Anne or something. Annie. Oh, tomorrow singer. Annie. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, now I'm. I'm so going so crazy, I'm mistyping. Yes, tomorrow is sung by Annie. Now from India must be introduced to Queen. I don't get that part, so we'll see what they say. I'm fairly sure we're after the 30 minute mark. I'll check it. It is right. All right, just these uh, two in the bottom right. Where to keep books, perhaps. For a U.S. detective. Uh, the book stops here. Um, no, I think I'm going to have to use wordplays.com for this one. Well, one of the words at uh, wordplays.com was hutch. And of course, uh, I loved Starsky and Hutch when I was a kid. So he would be a U.S. detective. And bucks, I presume, can be male rabbits as well. So you would keep them there. I have something that's available. It is on tap. <laughs> the butter is a pat. Of course, I should have known that. Um, oh, and touching. If if uh, what you say is touching a certain subject, then it is on that subject. Then the butter pat comes backwards from the east. All right, let's check all. Confirm. Is every letter still there? Yes. All right, let's see what they're saying over at 15 squared. All right, the blog today is by Manehi. Tricky and very enjoyable. Uh, let's see. Uh, what I just wanted to check my understanding of redefine. And yeah, a red is his rival, I suppose, a fine. And yeah, Everton's football rivals are Liverpool, known as the Reds. Um, yeah, so it's the odd letters removed. That's what was tripping me up. Uh, Theresa May, ER returned, yeah, India, sleep with, effulgent. So Niagara, A from the surface, river, uh, over is again, and all of that is reversed to the left. Ah, very nicely done. Yeah, from the east, I, I immediately picked up on, but to the left... I should have realized in an across clue means you read it backwards. All right, finally got the big noise and on tap. Undernourished, yeah. The downs uh, up the wall is to be mad or angry. If you are, oh, if you're winning, you're up. 
plus tall, which is big, about Q to cut. Oh, very tricky, very tricky. And uh, yeah, there's the curate in reference to the phrase, the curate's egg. Ladette. Uh, 22, I marked Annie. The title character sings the song tomorrow. Oh, India from 13 across, but then you use that to get the letter I. Goes inside, must be introduced to Queen Anne. Funnily enough, I thought of Queen Anne earlier. Uh, I should have followed up on that. Anyway, um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. There was nothing too tricky. Ah, and then just as I expected, Frankie G gives us our earworm. I have to say, one of the best concerts I ever saw was Kid Creole and the Coconuts. What a show they put on. Uh, anyway, that's, I think, enough for today. Thank you, as always, for watching, and have a wonderful day.